overcrowding in one southern Indiana community is forcing some inmates to sleep on extra cots and other criminals to remain on the street. Now the Washington County Sheriff's Department is opening up a new jail to fix the problem. WLKY's Erica Coghill joins us now with a look inside. Erica? Rick, the old Washington County jail can't keep up with the crime. It has enough bed space for exactly 56 inmates, but on average, it houses about 100. The county jail has to provide floor cots for the extra bodies, but now it's undergoing a huge expansion. The new Washington County jail will hold an additional 204 inmates. With the expansion, it'll allow law enforcement to move more criminals from the outside. In. Washington County Sheriff Claude Combs has been battling overcrowding for about the last seven years. The prosecutor and the judges and, and the sheriff's departments kind of work together to keep the numbers around 100. Which is nearly double the amount of inmates the old jail was built to house. I hate to say it, but you know, there's some warrants that we don't serve because they're not critical right now because, uh, you know, we don't have bed space for them. Often waiting two to three weeks until authorities are able to cycle old inmates out and new ones in. Well, we've not left any dangerous people out there. Don't get that wrong. I mean, if they're dangerous, they're going to jail. Washington County had to make a choice. Something was going to have to be done. Either we were going to start housing inmates outside the county, spending five, six hundred thousand dollars a year to do that, and transporting them back and forth, or we was going to build onto our jail. About $10 million later, it's complete with state-of-the-art technology and security, all operated from the jail's control center, which gives a bird's-eye view of each inmate. The person who's in here runs everything. He controls every door, uh, every camera uh, in the building. With the simple click of a mouse, officers can open or close all cell doors at once. There's seven blocks in here. You can very quickly go around and open the blocks. This jail will soon be open for business. We're going to serve some warrants that, that are outstanding that need to be served. Now, the jail won't be in operation for at least another two weeks. And once it is open, Sheriff Combs says the county will likely rent out extra space in the jail for inmates from other counties who are also experiencing overcrowding. Erica Coghill, WLKY News. Thank you, Erica. Now, the Washington County Commissioner says the funding for the $10 million jail will come from taxpayer dollars.